this applique, we're gonna go ahead and grab a rectangle. We're gonna select it and we're gonna drag it out. So we have this square here, right? And right now what we have is a basic outline. So in order for us to create this applique, we have to first have a run stitch, then we gotta have a tack down stitch. The tack down stitch has to be slightly smaller than the actual borders of the design. So you're gonna have a run stitch on the outside and then a tack down stitch will be on the inside, but not that much space in between it, just enough for it to remember to lay, to basically stitch the fabric down so it doesn't move. So now I'm gonna grab another one. So I'm gonna select artwork again, and then I'm gonna hit this point here, drag it out, and then slide it down just like this here, okay? And now I have my tack down stitch and I have my run stitch, but this isn't an actual stitch job yet. This is just two lines. So this is technically like artwork. So I'm gonna highlight the entire thing and now I'm gonna hit auto digitize. Once I hit auto digitize, I'm gonna hit yes. And now I have my two run stitches as you guys can see here. So from here, the only thing we have left to do is make a satin stitch on top. I'm gonna change the one of the artwork lines to a fill just so we can work on it as if it was an actual fabric. So let's just say this is our inside fabric here that we're gonna use. Now what we have to do is create a satin border to go on top. I'm gonna grab my satin stitch, I'm gonna select it, and then I'm gonna choose the color I want. So remember, if I left click on a color chip, it's gonna open up the palette. If I right click on it, it's gonna create it. So now I'm going to create this design in a ladder motion. I'm gonna start in this angle here at the top left corner. So I'm gonna select here and then I'm gonna go right here. And instead of making a bunch of short points, I'm just gonna drag it all the way to this point here, select this point here, and then select that point there. So now I have four points and then I'm gonna drag it all the way down here and select this point here Come out, follow your line. And don't worry if it's off a little bit, you can always go back and adjust it and select this point here, okay? So now I have six points. I'm gonna come back to this in here. I'm gonna select this point here. And then I'm gonna come out and select this point here, okay? I'm gonna follow up with coming back to overlap on top of what I've already done. So I'm gonna select this point here, finish it off right here, right on top. And then once you're done, hit enter. And now you got your satin border.